Okay, so you've loaded the game, you've embarked, and you're sat here looking at the screen, and you're thinking, what is this gibberish? Well, as you can see, you're on the left-hand side, you have uh, your area, which you can move around with the cursor keys, you can scroll around. Um, this is basically your embarkation point, so if you press F, go around the map, whatever you want to do, F1 will go straight back to that point, so that is your zoom key. Um, now, on the right-hand side, you've got the overview, probably don't really need that so let's press tab and tab again and that will get rid of that and it will move your menu over the side so on the right hand side is your user interface I use the word very loosely because it's a little bit tricky and it's kind of a sticking point for a lot of players but uh, you kind of get used to it so we'll go through the basics as you can see at the top a announcements well we've got no announcements but when things happen this is what will happen in here and they'll give you all, all the all the info it will say blah 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 is under attack or you know has created a masterpiece or something like that so press escape and get out of that one uh, B is buildings in there you can build basically everything we can go through workshops etc um, you can move around that with your plus and minus key which is it tells you there select is your plus and minus uh, you've got a great big list of things keep going down you can go down through the lot there's a great big list and there's also sub menus in there so if you say go into workshops and press enter you've got a whole lot more in there and as you can see on the right hand side each one of those has a hotkey uh, so say if you really wanted to be quick you go B W and then C for Carpenter's Workshop so you'd get straight in there and then on your map you'd have uh, a various area but you've got no building materials because um, we're not in non aircraft area etc etc anyway um, we'll get into that as and when so that's your building which will definitely come a bit more into it you've got R for reports again if anything happens that will be telling you in there you'll get a little R in the top left hand corner uh, it'll come up with a little C actually saying something's happened basically or a little A for an announcement something's happened better look here uh, C for civilizations not really worried about that don't care that's uh, your civilizations designation now this is a pretty important one D for designation um, as you can see it's giving me my cursor here you can see it moving around this river area and it's basically saying chop down trees so Okay, fine, which is T, it's auto selected because we're above ground. So, you know, we want to chop down trees, that's fine. Press enter, select an area. If you hold shift and go down with the cursors, it jumps a bigger area rather than just a single uh, single area, etc. So, uh, it is actually, I don't know if you can make it out on the screen, it is actually flashing this, this one underneath here. It's basically giving you an area. So, we can go down like that, press enter again, highlights the big area, and it's going to chop all those trees down there. You can see them being selected, it will chop the trees down. That's fantastic. Away we go. Um, now, we can also do exactly the same with plants. So, we can gather the plants, which will gather. Uh, the overland plants. We'll get into there's there's basically two different types of plants within this game, but we'll get into that. So what we're going to do is gather whatever plants are there. That will give you some seeds, a bit of food. So P, gather plants again. Select the same area, gather plants. And there you go. It selected the whole area. So everything in that area now is going to be gathered up. Um, we are at our embarkation point, so you know why not? Let's have a do that. But that's how you start things off. Now obviously we've began on uh, above ground here, which is. Uh, you can see we're in a, a fairly nice area uh, and there's a river running through it which is all wonderful so we've got a, a fairly decent open space um, to possibly create uh, our environment with now you're looking at it and you're thinking god is that it you know what's happened to all this land well we're in a valley so if you want to move up the valley if you hold shift and press the greater than and less than keys you can go up and down these uh, areas it will go up and down it's it that will you know that will be your staple. You'll be going up and down the Z, the X, Y, Z levels, as it were. The uh, and on the right-hand side of the screen, I'm talking far right bottom corner. You can see I'm on 105. If I go down, it'll be down to 104, 103, 102. And if you can see on the right-hand side, you can see the uh, we're basically descending deep down into the ground. Obviously, we can't see a damn thing, so there's no point going down at a moment. But that's where we can dig down towards. There's our river on the base level, the ground, and then you keep going up, and you can see this mountain basically on the right-hand side of this as is slowly coming up. And you can see it's, it's developing into a, a higher land, and there's actually snow on top as well, which is uh, snow-covered peaks. Um, now, you're looking at this ground, and you're probably thinking, D-Man, I haven't got a damn clue what you're on about. It, it, it all looks weird why it's what all these sevens what are, what are these why are the blue sevens on the screen that that's your river um, it's an ASCII code game 
which is, you know, a lot of people kind of understand it. Anyone that's actually looked at the game and has got this far is probably quite interested in playing it, so they're not that worried about the graphics. So, as you can see, it's, a, it's an ASCII code game, but with the Phobos graphics pack, it's kind of tried to put graphics there, so you can see there are actual trees, there are bushes, etc. So it's And the little dwarves, they've got little uh, icons, etc. for various uh, crafts. You'll get used to them, basically. Um, and if you really want to know what something is, you have this uh, button called K, which basically tells you what you're looking at. So you can see that's don dense, not grass. That's uh, open space, etc. So if we go down to that, you can see it's a river. It's a river, and it's uh, the the seven signifies the current that is in it, or the strength, the density of the water. So if it's say like a puddle, it'd be one. Uh, you know, two would be a, l a little bit of a brook. You know, three would be a slightly stronger brook, and four would be a bit of a riverish going on. And then and seven's like a big raging river. So a big strong river is what is there. So. And we can look around these things. We can see that that's you know a bit of shrubs, a bit of shrubs again. We've got a bit of larch, cedar, various different tree varieties, etc. And then on the side you can see these brown blobs. Well, that's sandy loom wall, so it's mud. So we can go around, and this bit's a bit of loam wall down here. So we've got we've got a bit of mud around here. There's not any rocks, which is the really what we're after. So we can have a look around. And we go, okay, well there's not really rocks, and the reason was because I've gone for a deep soil area. Well, that's fine. Uh, we can dig down. We can always dig down. Uh, what else do we go through? Let's have a look at this UI and see what else. Well, set orders. Don't worry about that just for now. Uh, job list. Well, that'll always tell you what your dwarves are doing. So you press J and that they can see they're picking up the equipment. Well, that's fine. They're not really doing a fat lot because we've not told them to do anything yet. Uh, M is the military. Whew. Uh, we'll we'll iron over that one for now because that's quite a... Uh, quite a strong subject all in its own uh, and you got points and notes we ain't worried about that burrows we'll define them later on so ignore them P for stockpiles now this is quite an important one uh, and you'll be using this a lot so let's let's set up a stockpile first so P and uh, well the first things you want uh, are refuse and where you want the corpses punt so P and R goes to refuses refuses is that even a word and uh, if you see my cursor I'm just gonna move up towards the top corner here let's give it a little area press enter um, move your cursor keys down a little bit and there you go that'd be a little refuse pile we can put there and um, we could do the same for corpses so press Y and we'll have another little area there uh, if you're unsure what I've done I press P select whichever one you want you can go down all of these you got the, you can see animals these are just different uh, base default designations you can get custom you can get down and dirty with it if you really want to um, but that set those up nice and simple so we press escape and go back to the opening menu again if you're ever unsure press escape and if you really go too far it'll go to there and just press return game uh, so that's the stockpiles uh, zones is another one uh, it's actually fairly new in game so if anyone's uh, played the game before or uh, has previously ex experienced it you may know about zones but there are now pastures set in this so as you can see we've got a little uh, uh, donkey or whatever we've I embarked with it is a uh, it is a donkey a stray donkey sat there so he wants somewhere to feed previous versions of this animals didn't need to feed you could just leave them uh, but now they need to feed so what we'll do we'll go up in towards the corner here next to the corpses and refuse why not and again with I just like you'd set the uh, the pass uh, the, the, the the stockpiles up we'll set ourselves an area we'll set ourselves a pretty big area because we're probably gonna have quite a lot of animals going in here and you can see the new active zone in the top right hand corner it's basically telling you what you can use this zone for and what we're after is pen and pastures you've also got water sources so you could say I want this area to be the water source please don't run across the map to get the water you know I want you to fish just here don't go over there where there's goblins are stood and fish because you know Obviously, you don't want people dying. Um, you can set up hospitals, meeting areas, etc., etc. There's there's quite a few in there, but we'll get into that more. Now you can see it's a big, horrible green flashing light. It's basically in your face. It's strobing. Uh, what you want to do now is press N because we want this as a pen and pasture. At the moment, it's just a zone. It's active. It's not doing anything. So press N. You can see uh, it highlights. And now we want to do Shift N. You can see it says Set Pen Pasture Information. Okay, fine. Well, it's now it's given us basically a list of our animals because it, we've set it as a pasture. They want to graze here. We've got a water buffalo and a, and a donkey. So press enter. That'll tell it to graze there. And then go down. Press plus and minus again. Always goes down through the menus. And press enter again. And that's assigned it. Simple as that. Press escape. Press escape. And if I press spacebar, which is unpause the game, you'll see my guys. They'll lead this donkey over in a minute as they uh, start digging out. 
Anyone going to lead the donkey over? Someone lead the donkeys over. Nobody wants to go over the river. Brilliant. Nobody wants to lead them over. It's actually the farmers that need to do it, and they're busy gathering the plants, which is why they're not leading it over. Anyway, we'll, <laughs> we'll get into that. Ignore that. They, they don't want to uh, pay any attention. They're a bit busy. I've just set them a little bit too much to do at the start. And you can see actually the carpenters, uh, he's chopping that tree down as, as we speak. I've actually paused it again. If you're ever unsure, you know, ever panicking what's going on, press spacebar. Spacebar pauses it, unpauses it. That's, you know, press pause, go to dwarf wiki or something like that, anything you need to do. So let's carry on through. We've done, uh, we're down to zone. So Q is the next one, which is set building tasks and preferences. Well, it's, it's basically, I, I always think of Q as query. Uh, maybe that's because I'm a database person, I don't know. So query, you can go around and you can, uh, you can't really do a lot at the moment other than remove the building. Well, we don't want to do that just yet, so there's not a lot we can look at with uh, Q because we've not set anything. What you can do is go over these uh, stockpiles we've set up, and uh, as you can see, they're flashing when they're highlighted. And you can, if you really want to, go into settings and, and set things up. But we won't go down to that just yet. That'll be uh, a little bit later. Um, also, we have view building rooms. Not really worried about that at the moment. View items. Not really worried about that. View units. In fact, the rest of it we don't care about other than possibly status, which is uh, the main screen of basically what you've got, what you've taken with you. So as you can see, we've got 50 plants, 60 drinks. They are very important. And there's meat, and fish, and seeds in the bottom left-hand corner there. And then you've got your population. Well, we're not that worried about that population screen at the moment because... We're going to be using Dwarf Therapist, which will kind of uh, show a bit more detailed. Along the top here, you've got Animal, Kitchen, Stone, and Stock. So if you go Animal, press Enter on that. You can see the, the water buffalo and the donkey that we've got there saying owner unavailable. They, you know, People will take on pets, etc. You can also slaughter them uh, and you know, kill them, turn them into meat, etc. But we'll get down to that. Same with the kitchen. Shows you what you've got, the basic stocks, it breaks down what that food is. You can see all the seeds and the spawns we've took with us on the journey. We've not really got any stone. Uh, in fact, that's really showing what this is, is, is restrictions on stone, not what you've got. In, and it's quite important, but generally just leave it on default because you don't need to worry about that. And stocks will show you exactly what you've got. Well, it won't do at the moment because we haven't got a manager that will tell you, but it'll tell you roughly what you've got. <laughs> so press escape, come out of that, and we are ready to begin really. So let's 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 take it to the next level and start building. <laughs> 